Hi, I'm Shao. In the comment section, someone drew my attention to two lenses um, that I sadly do not have, so uh, they did not, did not participate in the test I uh, performed on uh, the rendition of uh, depth or uh, 3D pop the dreaded uh, term. Uh, anyway, those are two uh, Focklander Apo lenses. The 50mm f2 Apo Lantar and uh, the 35mm f2 Apo Lantar. Uh, that uh, comment uh, observed that the 50 has a decent pop while the uh, 35 millimeter is, uh, is completely flat. Uh, that made me curious. Uh, I wanted to understand what's going on there. So um, Obviously, I looked at uh, uh, the lens designs on the uh, Falkland uh, website. Uh, just a quick uh, recap. Uh, the tests I performed revealed that extra low dispersion glass has a detrimental effect on the perceived uh, depth of uh, photos made by a lens. Uh, lenses containing uh, uh, a lot of uh, extra low dispersion or ED uh, glass uh, tend to be flat while uh, lenses with uh, only a little bit of uh, uh, this glass type tend to be uh, more poppy, to, to render depth in a, a more uh, obvious uh, manner. Anyway, uh, I suggested a decision tree that uh, takes into account the number of uh, ED elements, uh, the uh, proportion uh, out of the, the overall glass used in the lens and uh, group complexity or how many elements on average are uh, in a group in the lens. Now uh, those two lenses, the, the upper lanthas, both have uh, five uh, ED elements, which according to the model I suggested, would create uh, rather flat uh, images with poor rendition of uh, depth. However, the, the designs of uh, those two lenses differs. In the uh, 50 millimeters, the, the ED glass is concentrated at the front uh, of the lens. This means that uh, uh, downstream to the, this uh, mass of uh, ED glass, there is uh, a higher uh, refractive index uh, glass that allows some uh, dispersion, uh, which according to my uh, hypothesis would allow some uh, uh, rendition of, uh, of depth. While uh, in the uh, 35 millimeters, the mass of uh, ED glass is concentrated at the back of the lens, at the rear. So uh, no uh, 
dispersion is allowed to develop before uh, the light hitting the, the sensor so uh, the images would be completely flat uh, so we, this is just to show you that uh, there is more nuance to this uh, model more nuance to uh, lens design that uh, uh, the current model uh, ignores. This reminded me of uh, another Falklander lens that uh, did participate in the in the test uh, I performed, which performed uh, in a better uh, way. It had more depth than. Uh, the model uh, would uh, suggest or the model uh, predicted and uh, it is uh, this one it's the um, 75 uh, uh, millimeters f1.5 it's a lens uh, made for um, rangefinder cameras uh, so it's quite small for uh, its uh, uh, focal length, but still it uh, does contain uh, three ED glass elements and uh, quite chunky ones. Uh, you can see it in the uh, diagram. Um, but uh, also, those uh, three elements are uh, positioned at the front uh, of the lens and downstream there is uh, a lot of uh, uh, non-needy glass. If, if I tilt the lens a little bit towards the light, you can, you can see that uh, it has a slight uh, uh, white glint. Uh, which I'll, I'll come to later but uh, anyway the positioning of uh, the, the extra low dispersion uh, glass in the lens uh, seems to explain some of the deviations uh, uh, from the model um, now, um, I want to, to, to talk a little bit about uh, outliers in, uh, in, in science. In every uh, model or, or uh, uh, analysis of uh, the patterns, the repeating patterns in, uh, in, del in data, uh, there are some uh, observations that do not add up, that do not fit the, uh, uh, the other uh, data. And uh, these data are quite annoying, of course, because they uh, reduce the significance of the model and as sometimes they uh, uh, render a model uh, uh, less uh, predictive so uh, in science statistics you're allowed to disregard those uh, outliers as, as long as the proportion out of the overall, uh, overall data is uh, low. Typically 5% of the observation or, or, or less. However, uh, those uh, outliers um, might, might be important and uh, you really have to look uh, deeper and uh, they, they might uh, 
expand on the on the model or, or make it uh, even uh, better now in the lenses I tested uh, the, the, I, I, I did consider the proximity of the um, ED glass to the sensor. Uh, I, I did consider a, a meter that uh, is uh, uh, the number of elements between the uh, rearmost ED element and the rear of the of the lens, but uh, uh, that variable uh, did not uh, make it into the proposed uh, uh, model or into the proposed uh, decision tree. Maybe because uh, uh, the variability in that uh, meter wasn't uh, high enough. In, in most lenses I measured, there is either uh, no ED glass at all, or, or the, the, the ED elements are spread uh, evenly along the, the length of the, of the design. Uh, so, uh, the decision tree, which is uh, an, an objective uh, way of analyzing things, it, it doesn't uh, uh, require any assumptions. This, uh, the, the proximity did not play uh, an, an important uh, role, but uh, Apparently, it does. There was another uh, interesting uh, lens. Uh, this is uh, the uh, Thypox Chimera, uh, 28 uh, millimeters. It's a fantastic lens, has a, an excellent uh, 3D pop, actually the best one of uh, uh, all my uh, uh, lenses. And uh, it does contain an uh, extra low dispersion uh, element, only one, a very thin one. And this element is uh, uh, located right at the uh, front of the lens, which uh, made me wonder why, why would uh, you put only one ED element right at the front? Because uh, there is no dispersion uh, happening before the light hits this uh, uh, element. So, why would you uh, uh, take the trouble of uh, uh, minimizing dispersion in, 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 the, in this case? Then I, I remember that this lens is uh, also made for uh, film cameras and uh, with film, especially with uh, black and white, you sometimes use uh, a yellow or red filter uh, in front of the in front of the lens, and uh, the purpose of this ED glass element is probably. Uh, meant to uh, minimize the dispersion created by the filter, just to give uh, the, the lens or the light passing uh, through it a clean start with, without any dispersion, which is uh, quite a clever idea. Uh, now about uh, that uh, white glint. 
I noticed that uh, with some of the best uh, poppy lenses, uh, they, they have a special uh, uh, characteristics. If you uh, tilt them slightly towards the, the light, you can clearly see that uh, there is a white glint uh, coming from the glass inside the, the, those lenses. This is the uh, Falkland uh, 58mm f1.4 uh, you, you can easily see it, you don't, you don't have to tilt it uh, much. And uh, I suspect that what you see is the uh, refraction of uh, light, that the changing of the angle of the light uh, passing uh, uh, through this uh, glass. And uh, it gives us a clue about uh, the, the, con the high content of uh, high, high refractive uh, index glass uh, in, in those lenses. So this is uh, the uh, Falkland uh, 58, which is uh, uh, one of the most uh, popular lenses in, in my possession. And uh, Another example is uh, this uh, Falkland 40 mm uh, uh, classic, which is another highly poppy lens. You see the white glint. Now, uh, if I uh, compare it to um, Another lens, uh, uh, you can see here, you, you, you can see that uh, it's not the case with uh, uh, every, every lens. So uh, the, lenses, the lenses that have this uh, uh, wide glint might be more poppy. It's, it's another uh, perhaps uh, a good telltale sign for a uh, good uh, rendition of uh, uh, depth. This is an, another one that is uh, high, has a high content of uh, uh, high refractive uh, index glass. It's the Light Lens Lab uh, 35 uh, millimeter f2, which is a um, um, like a Zoomicron uh, uh, replica, and uh, according to the manufacturers, it, it contains a high proportion of uh, uh, lead glass, which is a high refractive index. You, you can see the uh, the, the white glint when I tilt the lens. Um, so, as you see, uh, the 3D pop model is uh, a dynamic one. It keeps uh, up updating as uh, we gather more uh, information. And uh, the whole purpose of this feat is uh, to help me and you select the, the, the better lenses. By the way, uh, the lens uh, filming me now is that uh, Falkland 75mm uh, uh, f1.5. Uh, it's quite a nice lens, so uh, thank you for watching.